What's going on guys? We're back for another episode today. Today we're doing something a little bit different, whereas every single episode so far I've been posting basically individualized me in the gym doing exercising. Um, you've also seen me post my meals in the past, which I will upload over here. So all of these different things is usually focused around what I do and how I pretty much manifest the body I currently have today. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a little bonus. That way you can see it from an outside perspective looking in. Yes, it's easy to see what I do and think maybe you can or cannot do it too. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm going to use my father and he's going to pretty much be a base as in an experimentation, if you want to call it that. We're going to go through pretty much um, workouts certain days of the week as well as doing cardio and also doing certain meals with nutritional partitioning, which means certain days will be higher protein. Of course, the fats is going to be moderate and carbohydrates. Um cycling in that case so basically my father is now going to go through some um of course basic things saying his name what his background is his lifestyle so you guys have an idea of who he is because how he is might be different than you watching it so he's going to give you basically an understanding of um some of his past sports athletics he used to do um he's going to go into his age he's going to discuss what he currently does now for um i guess exercise to keep his health and wellness up and what his nutrition is like. So I'm gonna give him the floor and he's gonna pretty much give you a breakdown of what it is that his lifestyle consists of. Hi guys, my name is Raymond, Ray Panther, and as Andrew has alluded to, I'm his dad. I just turned, no, I will be 62 on the 15th of this month. So I'm almost there. Um, and in terms of my lifestyle now, pretty active last year from january through the end of december i walked 9437 steps on average per day so you know i'm pretty active i jog and that's included in those steps um, but my knees they ache you know um i really cannot jog hard or long two or three days two days is the most so I do a lot of walking. I stretch. I do a little bit of um, yoga to um, maintain my body, you know, my skeletal structure, so I don't slump too much. I try to eat healthy. I try to do one meal a day, at least one day a week. And for the other six days, I do that um, window where I will not eat for 12 to 16 hours. And then I have a compacted window where I try to eat. Now, I haven't been necessarily documenting my carbohydrates intake. What I have been doing, though, is trying to be very deliberate in limiting the intake but I haven't quantified it so this process now is going to help me refine it and sharpen it and quantify it so that going forward that can be incorporated into my lifestyle in terms of uh, my life you know as a youngster pretty active you know I'm from Jamaica in the West Indies so cricket you know football which is soccer you know, we would play a lot of that and track and field athletics you know i was also actively involved with that um I had some success um at various levels with each of those you know um I was able to represent my country um in track and field um, as a youngster um enough to get a athletic scholarship um did moderately well over here um but again, you know, um, that was years ago and um, it would really hurt me for someone to think, oh, he is an athlete and so therefore I can never do what he's able to do now. The fact of the matter is that was over 40 years ago and we're talking about wherever you are now moving it to the next level, moving it, moving on for the rest of your life and being the best version of you that you can make yourself. Um, by sacrificing, by being consistent, by having a goal, 
and you know incrementally consistently you know just keep chipping away every day until you achieve it and again man or woman if you don't achieve your goal it is hard to define that as not being a success because if for example you were at if your goal is to get to a level a 10 we all want to get to 10 you know whatever that 10 is in our mind and if you started at two and if you ended up at six or seven just think of the tremendous growth you have made and how that is going to positively affect the quality of your life as you age so therefore go for it and wherever you are all it means that you have to recalibrate to get to the next level it is not impossible everything takes time be consistent So we finally got some measurements down and we have pretty much a set program for these next um, 14 days so what we will be doing is a six day split um, I'm gonna go through the exercises I'm gonna go through the nutrition and how each of the meals will be set up um, so first things first like I said once more it's a six day split three to four of those days are gonna be focused on mostly doing cardio low intensity and it is perfect that my father is a big um, advocate of walking so that's perfect so we, we will be going for a minimum of you know 40 minutes a day just steady state cardio and it's going to be in a fasted state so what i want my father to be doing is um, a minimum of 20 hours of fasting which is generally what i do and it's in my eyes very sustainable and um i did one meal a day for a long time but 20 hours is for me the sweet spot currently so the other three days will be focused around um, strength and conditioning. It'll be full body, it should take about 30 minutes to obviously hit the legs. Um, of course, the midsection, the arms, the back and the chest. So with that, we're gonna be focused on exercises that will build um, the VMO, which is that quad muscle. That is what they call the teardrop. I'll post a picture over here so you guys have an idea. And um, with that VMO, it allows the knees to almost get a break. It carries the load and the pressure that most of the knees are not meant to sustain. So by building up that muscle, my father could begin to, you know, start jogging, start being more functional and not have to worry about little um, aches and pains. So for the nutritional aspect, once more, I already said we will be doing the 20 hours of fasting regimen um, with the fasted cardio for those three days. Most I want you to fast it. Um, Fasted state cardio, which means the 40 minute minimum should be strictly fasted. Maybe an hour before you break your fast, like 19 hours in, generally try to go for around that time. You will be eating each day around 2,000 to 2,200 calories a day. Um, the cardio days, what you will be eating is generally going to be, you know, just lean meats and vegetables. The days where you do some strength and conditioning in the full body, you will be having up to 150 grams maximum of carbohydrates. Um, so with those carbohydrates, mostly I want them in the consumption of like potatoes, consumption of fruits, things that are more like whole based natural. And one day a week, you could have a cheat meal, I put quotations because I don't understand why things have to be labeled a certain way, whether it's a cheat meal or it's a natural meal. Because at the end of the day, as long as you are in a caloric deficit, you will be able to burn fat. But once a week, you go crazy, have your cake, have your um, ice cream, and that could be the 150 gram portion of that um, requirement. So for your pretty much fasted workouts when it comes to 
the strength and conditioning the full body, I want you having a pre-workout meal. Um, I've always worked out fasted for a very long time and recently what I started doing is instead of working out fasted 20 hours into my fast and feeling almost fatigued and not really having the same output, what I started doing was I obviously fast for 20 hours and I break my fast with just a pre-workout protein, vegetable, and fruit smoothie. And basically it's easy to digest, it's easy to give you that little extra oomph and energy in the gym, or in this case downstairs in the basement for the exercise you'll be doing. And it will allow you to just stay focused throughout the whole workout and not just think about, I can't wait to be done so I can go eat. So that will hold you over and that also will give you the nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants you need just to stay healthy. So. Let me see, what else am I missing? I think that's about it. So everything I just listed out, um, it'll be listed out on the screen. So you could also see it in a few slides from here. But overall, this right here is gonna be a great way to build muscle and burn fat and optimally just increase your health and wellness profile is what I like to call it. Um, fasting is something that I feel everybody should do, no matter your age, no matter your activity level. It is something that will also build that disciplinary action because it's self-induced. Um, nobody can tell you not to eat. You feel what I'm saying at the end of the day? So when you put yourself in those type of um, parameters, like I'm not going to eat from this period to this period, that's a mental muscle. Because even when you want to eat and you use your with all to not, that right there just adds more to your disciplinary bank. So. Like I said, we're starting tonight, and from there, we'll just pretty much keep maximizing this potentiality of fat loss and muscle gain. Okay, and, and how long was the duration so far? The duration so far is 76 minutes. Okay, so our 10 minutes. And um, what was the thing you did for the incline, for the intensity was? You started flat, you started high, what was the 1. thing you did? 1.5. 1.5 in the yeah. beginning for the incline? Then I brought it on to 1, yeah. Okay, so 1.5 and 1. Yeah. And um, does one. it say how many calories in total were burned? Yes, yeah, so... 470 calories. 470. So yeah. I would say take 470 and estimate it by maybe like 1.3. So maybe 600 calories, 650 you burn. So usually so, treadmills. Yeah, so the carb is 60. 50. Yeah. But those, I, I don't know how that works with the carbs oh, because okay. when it's low intensity, that's more tapping into like fat stores than carbs. Good but point. The thing for the calories itself, when you use exercise machines, whether at the gym or at your house, you have to take into addition that it usually goes off the average male. Uh -huh. So if you're 196, it's taking the average of a guy who's 150, which is the reason why most um, treadmills that have more accuracy, they mm -hmm. generally have the option for you to put your own Wait, profile. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's probably, does, that's mm -hmm. point. Yeah. yeah, it probably yeah. is something somewhere. So, yeah. okay, okay. And, um, Basically, how, how do you feel after doing the walk? You're still um, fasted? How many hours into your fast are you as so well? I ate last night at 7. At 7? Yeah, so it's 5 o'clock. Like 17 now. hours or so? It's 5 o'clock. Yeah, now. so 18. It's like 2 hours, right? Because it's 5 o'clock now. You ate at 7 yesterday? Yesterday. Oh, yeah. okay. You, But when did you finish eating? Oh, I bet you 7.30. Oh, so you only ate one meal yesterday? No, the last meal I ate was that. I oh, I thought you meant you started at 7. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, ended, yeah. I started at okay. like 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock. I had yeah. some you know, tea, then I had some fruit. Mm -hmm. So about the last meal was at 7 o'clock, finished by 7.30, 7.25, 7.30. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So in total, um, like like you said, once yeah, more, it's 22 hours. That, yeah. You know, because I went back to you know, watch some movie with your mom. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, so, so overall you're pushing the 24-hour mark more or yes. less for your fasting period, which means oh, yeah. this is very topogenic and it's mostly tapping the fat slurs for the 70 hours of um, cardio that you just did. So basically, um, I guess you can wrap it up in the next few minutes, yep. get your exactly. low-carb meal. Happen, yeah, yeah it's a low-carb day. Yep. yep, so vegetables and uh, mostly proteins will be the consumption for the night. Mm -hmm. Anywhere from, like I said, 2,000 calories on low 
I guess, activity days. Mm -hmm. And um, the other days, once more, like we said, the other three days, you could have up to 150 grams of um, carbohydrates and stuff like that, mm -hmm. just to build more muscle and sustain energy and um, hormone effect. So mm -hmm. 